In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to play xCloud Gaming with mouse and keyboard on your PC. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be all set up and ready to enjoy your favorite games with the precision and control of a mouse and keyboard setup. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser, preferably Chrome. And so you're gonna go to the Chrome Web Store by just searching up Chrome Web Store in search. And click the first one here. And from here, you're going to search up keyboard and mouse for xCloud. And there's only one here, so click on it. And what you're going to do is click add to Chrome. And then just click add extension over here. And you'll be prompted to this page here saying that your extension was installed successfully. And it says to start playing games, visit Xbox Cloud Gaming. And there's also community presets, which I'll touch on a bit later. But essentially what you're going to do is just click on this puzzle thing right over here. And just pin this over here in your task bar. So just click on it here and click start free trial right over here. So I do want to note that this free trial only lasts for three days, which is one of the biggest downsides to this. If you want to keep using the software, you will have to pay a fee of $4. But you can keep making new emails to get the three day trial again and again if you guys really want. And this page should pop up so you're just going to enter in your email which I will do right now. And so it'll just say a confirmation email has been sent. Please click the link in the email to finish activating your free trial. So it should be in your email and you just have to click confirm email in the actual email. And so now if you just click exit and click on the extension here, you can see that it's here. So I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. But the first thing we want to do is just search up xCloud. And for this, you will need to use the web version of xCloud. But there's also ways you can use the PC version as well. If you guys want to see a video on that, click the video in the top right and it will show you exactly how to play xCloud on your PC without using the web store. But anyways, just click on the link here. And what you're going to do is just click on any of the games that you want to play once you've obviously logged in. And when you do go into xCloud, you will see the actual pop up here. That explains exactly how to use it so it'll just say everything here click understood and I'm just gonna sign in and I'll be back and what you want to do is just click the game that you want to play but before I do say all of that I do want you guys to know that I would recommend using Microsoft Edge as Microsoft Edge has the clarity boost feature that enhances your gameplay so if you guys want to know how to turn that setting on, I'll leave a video in the top right that shows you exactly how to turn it on. And for the actual extension in Microsoft Edge, there should be something that's exactly the same in the Microsoft Edge store where you can get extensions as well. So if you guys want, I'll make a video on how to do it on Microsoft Edge. But anyways, I'll click on Fortnite here and I'll click play. And it will say that a controller is not detected, but you just have to click continue anyway. And you will see default preset activated right over here. And it also says click here to enable mouse control. So to make your keyboard and mouse work seamlessly, click on the designated area, which is right over here. And it should work. But right now there is a queue. So I'll be back when this queue is finished. And also, if you guys do want to know how to skip the wait time on xCloud, I'll be able to make a video on that. So stay tuned. So make sure you guys hit that notification bell if you do want to see that. So now that I've actually queued in, what I want you guys to do is click escape. And then click on the actual extension here. If you don't already have it pinned, remember that you have to scroll down all the way and click the pin button on it. So just click on this here. And now you can see which key is which. So it tells me here, skip this, which is X. So the X button is the same as R on my keyboard. So if I go back, if I click here and click R, you can see that the actual command worked. And if you guys want to click go back, which is A on the controller, click escape, click on the extension. 
and you can see that the A button is space. So if I click on this again and click space, you can see that I can go back. So I can click R for skip and it obviously registers. And what you can do as well is click on the extension again and you can actually edit all of these. So you can click this edit button right over here and click the X or you can add multiple binds. You can add up to two binds per controller button so if I wanted to, I can set my A to any key over here. So I can set that to J, for example. So now I have two binds for that. And I can go and click this here and click J. And it will still work. And if you just click exit here, another thing I do want to say is that you can see here, it, it says default active here. And what you can do is you can have multiple presets here. So if you guys want to add a preset, just click add new preset and then obviously when you guys do want to make a preset and when you guys change all of these binds you can click export right over here and then click this button here and then import the file that you put in and you guys can also explore more customized setups and then you can head to their discord community tab to find user shared presets and tips as well so i'll leave a link for that in the description down below if you guys do want to see that and you can click get more presets here as well and it will lead you to the same page and just click join preset sharing on discord here and i do want to say that i have made a membership page where you guys can join for only a dollar a month with this you can join my discord server where you can get help for your geforce now issues and any other cloud gaming issues and automatically be entered to a monthly geforce now gift card giveaway if you guys do use that as well you will also get priority reply to comments and shout outs too so make sure to join by clicking on the join button next to my channel or clicking the link in the description and also i am running a geforce now gift card giveaway on my channel so if any of you xcloud users want to also win a geforce now gift card giveaway you guys can enter and enjoy ultimate for free and to enter make sure to like this video and subscribe and then i want you guys to click on the video in the top right and watch that entire video saying that you liked and subscribed and once you've done that make sure to comment on both videos saying that you subscribed and liked this video at the end of the month, I will announce the winner of this giveaway and give them the gift card. Also, the more videos you watch and comment on, the better your chances are. So make sure to watch as many videos as possible. If I do hit 2000 subscribers by the end of this month, I will also give away a premium membership of this as well. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Anyways, I hope this video helped. And if it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Remember to join as a channel member for exclusive perks to this channel. Join the GeForce Now giveaway and leave a super thanks if this video helped. Thanks for watching.